In this video, I want to show you how Contact Form 7 works. This is a plugin for producing forms like this one on the Contact Us page. It's a very simple, easy to use plugin, and I want to show you how it works. There's Contact over on the sidebar, creates its own little area, but it's only a one page plugin. So you can manage all your forms from here. You could add a new form. Right now, we've just got our Contact Form 1. Now actually, it's better to rename this, so let's actually call this the Contact Us page, just so we know where we're using it. All right, so let's save that. And we hit Save, and now we've got our Contact Us page name. All right, now I could click here, and this highlights what's in this brown area, and I could copy this and paste it somewhere if I want this form to appear in a particular place. Down below here is the actual structure of the form using some short codes that are specially created by this plugin. But you actually control the HTML right from this spot. So let's say, for example, I don't care about subject. Let's actually take that right out. And then all I do is I hit my Save button, which is showing up over here on the right, and I go back to Contact Us, and we refresh, and now Subject isn't there anymore. So it's that easy to control. If I want to add a new tag, let's say, for example, I wanted a drop-down menu that gave me some choices of what this form is about. So I just choose Drop-down menu here. It's not a required field, so I won't do that. I'm going to give it its own name. I'm going to say this is uh, my choice, let's say. And I could give it an ID, I could give it a class if I wanted to style it in a particular way. So it says one choice per line, so I'll say this is for uh, the sales department, or it's for the uh, travel agents, or it's for the owner, let's say. So those are our Three. I don't want multiple selections. No, I don't need that. And I'll insert a blank item as the first option. So let's do that. All right. I just click on it, and it highlights the whole thing. I copy that, and I paste it over here like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate the same HTML here. So I'll just put in my paragraph beginning there and my paragraph ending. And then I'm going to give it a label here that says um, what this is about. All right. Now, actually, I would prefer to have it over top before the message. So let me put that up here. I'll just move it around, paste it back in. Perfect. Now I go over here, and I hit Save. And when I go back to the contact form, now we've got a drop-down menu here. What is this about? All right. So this is an easy way for you to manage your contact forms or any kind of form. I've done all sorts of forms on this, like a matchmaker form for people who are signing up with a matchmaker. And it had about 50 questions you needed to answer on it. So you can get very, very complex with this, but it's very easy to generate check boxes, or if you want to do radio buttons. It's also got a CAPTCHA on here, although that does require an extra plugin that you need to get, but very easy to use. There you go. Lots and lots of options, including file uploads and so on. And then down here, you control going out. What's the message? Uh, who's it from? You just insert those same tags in here, those same short codes, and it produces whatever is in the form is put into the body of the email that comes to you and you control who it goes to and so forth. So again, very simple, very straightforward, a little bit of HTML to work with there, but I find it's pretty basic unless you're getting super, super complicated. This actually works just fine and makes it very easy to create any kind of form.